Okay, the trick to doing these problems is maybe to go straight down. Look for the numbers that are even, and we're going to put a yes in the ones that are even. And every number that ends in an even number is even. So anything that you can divide in half or divide by two is even. So that one's yes. I'm just going to copy and paste this because that's even, that's even. This ends in one, it's not. This ends in five, it's not even. This is even. Okay, that is not even and neither is this. Okay, so the twos are real easy, so divisible by two. And maybe the next easiest thing to do are the fives and the tens. Any number that ends in five, or zero is divisible by five. Any number that ends in five or zero is divisible by five. Because when you count by fives, it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. All those numbers end in five or zero. That does not end in five. That's not divisible by five. This is, ends in zero, so it is divisible by five. So is that, so is that and that's it. So the ones that are divisible by 5 are here. And that's it. So this is divisible by 5, this is divisible by 5, this is divisible by 5. Now the, one, the rule with the 10 is if any number that ends in 0 is divisible by 10, because when you count by 10s, it's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So all these that end in 0, which there are only two of them, are divisible by 10. So just those two. And now we're halfway done with the homework. Now here's where the tricky part is. The rule for finding if a number is divisible by 3 is taking all the digits and adding them together. So if we added those digits together, 9 plus 9 is 18, plus 8 is 26, plus 8 is 34, plus 7 is 41, plus 6 is 47. So if we added those together, it comes out to be 47. 3 does not go into 47. 3 times no whole number. 3 goes into 48. 3 times 16. 3 goes into 45. 3 times 15. But it doesn't go into that. So it's not divisible by 3. So, and the rule, let's just go ahead and just do that for all of them. 5 plus 8 is 13 plus 9 is 22. 3 times 7 is 21 and 3 times 8 is 24. So it's no for this. Let's try this one. 3 plus 6 is 9. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 plus 4 is 18. 3 does go into 18. 3 times 6. So this is a yes. Let's try this one. 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 3 times 5 is 15. This is a yes. 3 plus 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7, plus 5 is 12. That's a yes. 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18. 3 times 6 is 18, so that works. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 9 is 27. 3 times 9 is 27, so that works. Now I'll try this big number. 4 plus 9 is 13. Plus 7 is 20. 22. 
23. No. Okay, now here's the trick for the sixes. It's really easy. Once you have this, it's so easy. There has to be a yes in both of these for this one to be a yes. Since there's a no here, these are no's. Since both of these are yes, that means this is yes. For to be divisible by six, it has to be divisible by two and three. So you gotta see two yeses here for this to work. So this is a no. This is a no. I forgot to put the no's in here, so I'll put those in. No. Yes, yes. This should be yes. This is a no. That one's a no, and this one's a no. So if you notice this, for something to be divisible by six, the number has to be even and divisible by three. That's maybe another way to look at it. It has to be even and divisible by three. All right, now the rule with the nines. When you add these numbers up, once again, if you get the sum is a total of something divisible by nine, it'll work. So let's find this. Nine doesn't go into 47. That's a no. Nine doesn't go into 22. No. What was this again? Nine, 14, 18. Nine goes into 18. This one's a big fat yes. This one is 14, 15. Nine will not go on that, so it's a no. This one is 6, 7, 12. Nine doesn't go into 12 either. 10, 18. That's a big fat yes. Let's see what this one is. 9, 12, 18, 27. There's another one. That's a yes. And 13, 20, 22, 23, no. So the rest of these are no as well. There's a rule at the bottom of the page, and it says it has to do with fours. Let me post these. Okay, so we have all of those. Here's the answers for the homework. And once again, the easiest ones to do are the twos, because all even numbers are divisible by two. And then you skip and do the fives, because that's the next easiest rule. Every number that ends in five or zero. So that ends in zero. So it's divisible by five. This ends in zero, so it's divisible by five. Also, when a number ends in five. Now, the difference is, kids get sometimes confused when you do the sum of the digits, that it doesn't matter if this ends in five or not. You only do the sum of the digits for this rule, for the threes and the nines. So this is a little tricky and it takes some practice, but this is a good place to start. Now, at the bottom of this page, there was a question about the fours, and it says a number is divisible by four if the tens and the one digits form a number that is divisible by four. So the example they gave is 36. So if it is divisible by four, 36 is divisible by four. Okay, well let's do that. This is a, a kind of a harder part. So these two numbers are what we're looking at. Is that divisible by four? I know four times 20 is 80, so 4 times 19 is 76, so this one actually does work. And it says to put a star, put a star next to any number in the table divisible. So I need to put a star right there, and I want to put this little thing. So that one's definitely one. Okay, 90 is also divisible by 4. 40 
that definitely works. 61. 4 doesn't go into 61. 15. No. 98. Will 4 go into 98? 4 times 25 is 100. And 4 times 24 is 96. No, that doesn't work. I know that's not going to work. That's a 9. And that one, that's not going to work either. So the ones with the stars are the first three numbers, and that's it. Okay, we'll do a practice sheet on this tomorrow also.